just because there's one ingredient that you don't agree with doesn't mean the whole dish is garbage. Especially since you don't really know what the rest of the dish is. Once you learn Torah and you see the extraordinary miracles that happened to us, us today, 3,000 years after we got the Torah, you start realizing that the only chance you have of living a decent life in this world is if you believe in the Torah 100%. Otherwise, your life is going to be full of suffering to no end. How do I know? Look at almost 8 billion people in the world. Every single one of them is either depressed or some type of mental deficiency or some type of mental case or some type of problem. Every single person has a serious problem. Everybody is like something is wrong with them. Nobody wants to live. You know who they want to live? They want to live somebody else's life. Everybody wants to live somebody else's life. The soccer player's life, the, the, uh, the rapper's life, the president's life, his girlfriend's life, his boyfriend's life, his dog's life. Everybody live, wants to live somebody else's life, even though that person or that thing doesn't want their own life. But everybody wants somebody else's life. Nobody wants their own life, except a Jew with bitachon, a Jew with emuna, a Jew that's connected to HaKadosh Baruch And one of the signs that you're connected to HaKadosh Baruch Hu is if you have confidence, if you have bitachon in Him throughout the difficulties that you're dealing with. Now the series that we started five, six weeks ago, bitachon and Hashem has gotten a lot of fantastic feedback which proves what the Chachamim say in the Gemara that one of the things that needs constant chizu, constant reassurance, constant learning, one of them, is bitachon. Why? Because bitachon is one of the things that you need to get through life. Torah, mitzvot, all of those things need constant learning. But unless you have bitachon, you're not going to be able to fulfill them the way HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants you to. And that's why the, Gemara, the Torah says in Parashat Kitavo that one of the worst punishments that HaKadosh Baruch Hu gave to Am Yisrael is because you did not serve me with happiness. You kept Shabbat, but you're like, ah, I can't wait till it's over. What, another two hours? Ah. Okay. What, two days chad this year? Two days chad. Can I just pretend I'm in Israel? Can I just pretend I'm in Israel? Only one day chad? What, this is not kosher? I have to eat kosher. It's only, it's only, what, it's a chocolate. Like what, a chef cares if it's a chocolate? Kosher chocolate? What, is pig in a chocolate? Why? Because you're not serving a Kadosh Baruch Hu with Simcha. When a person does not serve a Kadosh Baruch Hu with Simcha, he looks for ways out. Ways out of keeping Shabbat the whole time. Ways out of keeping the Chag. Ways out of keeping kosher 100%. Ways out, because he's not really happy to do it. He feels like it's like a, it's like a all, all, how do you say all? All is like a burden. He feels like it's a burden. It's like a sack of potatoes. He's carrying up Mount Everest. Oh, I have to wear this long dress? Like the whole thing? Can I fold it a little bit? So they can see like almost my entire leg? How are they going to know it? I'm attractive. They don't see me. They're going to know. They're going to know you're attractive. Why? When you're holy, when you're holy, because you did what a Kadosh Baruch Hu said, your attraction is not just your physicality. It's your neshama. A Jewish woman needless to say, even a non-Jewish woman that treats herself like the creation of a Kadosh Baruch Hu, that preserves herself, that's not promiscuous, that's not immodest, but is doing simply the will of Hashem. Hashem does not want me to be promiscuous. Whether I'm a Jew or not is irrelevant. Hashem does not want me to cause other people to have immodest thoughts about me. He doesn't want that. Why? He wrote it in the Torah. He doesn't want it. Hashem wants me to preserve myself. Why? Because I'm special. Only my husband should know. A woman like that, automatically she's much more attractive. Why? Because it's no longer just her physicality. Her neshama attracts other people. This, unfortunately, is lost among many in a generation today because we live in a generation where people somehow have fallen for the trap where they believe that the more skin you show, the more attractive you become. Well, I can give you an example. You look, go to the zoo. In the zoo, all of the animals are naked, but none of you guys want to date them. 
the cow told me, sent me a text message on WhatsApp. It says, uh, you have a shiduch for me? I said, no, I'm sorry, I only deal with people. He said, yeah, but I'm naked all the time. He says, yeah, but I'm sorry, not yet. Maybe next week. Maybe next week. Who knows what's going to happen to this generation? The reality is that skin does not make you more attractive. In fact, it's the opposite. The most beautiful women in the world are the classiest. The ones you want to marry are the classiest. No one wants to marry the prostitute. No one. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows this. But we fall for it time and time again. Because the Yetzirah beats us. So how do we stop falling for the Yetzirah? How do we stop falling for peer pressure? How do we stop falling for all of these strange thoughts that don't belong in our head? It starts off with answering a lot of the questions that we have. And then it continues with trying to figure out how do I build a relationship between me and a Kadosh Baruch Hu to the extent where I have such high level of confidence, such high level of bitachon in Him that I know He's next to me, watching and protecting me at all times. Even when everything looks dark, to me it's light. Even when I have no money in the bank, I know I'll be able to pay the bills. Even when I have a sickness, I know it's going to be okay. Even when I have no idea I'm going to get there on time, I know it's going to be fine. I'm going to get the job. I'm going to get the appointment. I'm going to make it to the date. And so on and so forth. Why? Because HaKadosh Baruch is with me. So first we have to answer the questions. After we have the answers to those questions, then we have to start building this relationship. And that's why we started this series of Bitachon to start realizing not only that we need Bitachon for the sake of having a better life, but also that not having it, not having Bitachon means that you're going to suffer constantly.